Do you really need a red light therapy device? This is going to be one of my more controversial videos because I don't believe that every single person needs to own a red light therapy device. There are certain cases where it can be useful and certain cases where it's not needed. So in this video, we're going to be talking about why red light therapy can be useful and then you can figure out whether or not you actually need to get one. So to start, what does a red light therapy device actually do? It doesn't cover the entire spectrum that you get from sunlight. Sunlight will cover the entire electromagnetic spectrum and then it will have most of its concentration between 200 and 2500 nanometers. But a red light therapy device often only has two or three different wavelengths. So sunlight having the full spectrum of light, the different wavelengths will have different effects. Some wavelengths are really good at setting your circadian rhythm. Some of them are needed in order to make vitamin D. But the physiological response that a red light therapy device is aiming at is energy production. There's specific frequencies between 6 and 700 nanometers and then between 8 and 900 nanometers that have been shown to increase energy or ATP production within your mitochondria. Now this is why red light therapy can be used in order to increase the energy in a cell and therefore to assist it in healing. Now why would this be useful if you could just go outside and get natural sunlight all the time? As modern humans, most of us aren't actually doing that. We're not getting outside and getting full body exposure, and we're often exposed to too much artificial light. Now, I'll be transparent with you. I'm not someone that uses red light therapy 365 days of the year. For a few months every single year, I travel to Bali, and when I'm there, I'm surfing a lot. I've got my shirt off, and I get a ton of sunlight exposure, and it's very rare that I will do a red light therapy session while I'm there. So if you are someone that is fortunate enough that you can spend your days outside, you're not having to work inside at all, then you're probably going to find that red light therapy wouldn't give you as much benefit as someone who is spending more time inside. The other thing that we should address is that it's not always a bad thing to take advantage of modern intervention. When I travel over to Bali, I'm not walking and swimming there as my ancestors would have had to have done. I get in an airplane and I fly there. When I had a motorbike accident a couple of years ago, I had a lot of fractured bones in my face. I didn't just wait, I went and got surgery in order to help my body to heal. So while red light therapy does use natural frequencies of sunlight, you can take advantage of it in certain instances. So if you have some kind of pain or a neuropathy or your hair is falling out or sleep disturbances, red light therapy is something that you can use to take advantage of nature and supplement with the healthiest wavelengths that we get from sunlight. So if you are someone that doesn't have any injuries, you've got no pains or niggles, and you get to spend your time outside, then you are someone who doesn't need a red light therapy device. But if you do find that you spend some time inside, you're exposed to artificial light, just like I am over here, or you have some kind of pain or injury, it's worth looking into red light therapy because it can be highly advantageous in helping you to solve your problems. With all of that said, not all red light therapy devices are equal. Some of them are essentially just fancy party lights and don't match up to the specifications from the clinical studies. So if you want to check out some of the best red light therapy devices on the market, I'll leave a link in the description of this video to the MyLight devices. They have the clinical wavelengths, they have a high light intensity, they're EMF free, and something they have that no other red light therapy company has is a 10 year warranty. Everyone else is offering between one and three years, but with the MyLight devices, you have a 10 year warranty, so you know you can get the benefits for many years to come. If you have any questions from today's video, please feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Otherwise, I hope that you have a great day further and we'll chat again soon. Cheers.